So I did a survey on my blog for my blog's anniversary where my audience would create a character. All the answers coming together will create the character. I did the exact same thing back in 2020 and ended up creating a character named Gia who was a tiefling. I wanted to do this again because it was so fun and I also wanted to try doing this in a different medium, seeing how the brainstorming and everything would be different. So now that I say that, let's get to brainstorming. So I have been decided that they were going to be a mystical creature who was a shapeshifter. I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to do that, how I was going to include that and stuff like that. I thought about doing a split face since that was something I had done in my previous artworks with the god of time or Nysus slash Nidro, but that idea just was a good starting point and I was trying to figure out how to include the curls since my audience had decided that she was going to be a punk character with long curly hair and most of the punk hairstyles I saw were very short so I ended up having to look for longer curlier hair for that. So I ended up redrawing it at least a couple times before I actually got what I wanted. I drew it one time though the body type is wrong there. She's supposed to be curvy but I made her look very thin in that drawing. But it was at least good in helping me figure out the hair. So then I tried drawing her split face again. The only thing that was kept from the split face drawing was the fact that I figured out what animal she turns into, which is a wolf. But that was the only thing that was kept from that. The rest of it just helped me figure out the hair color and everything. I wasn't sure what her hair color was going to be, but at least helped me decide it because I was stuck between should I make it green, should I make it... I didn't know why I should make it. Also since the character was going to be wearing jewelry, I decided to give her a spiked color since I seen fitting for her character. As you can see here, I was stuck between different colors, whether I should make it green, blue, purple, or pink. And then I randomly had a random generator choose a name. I didn't want people to feel like I was choosing one name over the other. I wanted it to be random, like the end results weren't random. But, um,. I decided to do two names, one last name, one first name, and Denise Gregory is what ended up her, her name ended up being. I began by sketching out the figure. I decided that it would be cool to have her uh, be a, have it be a figure drawing instead of a simple portrait like I had done last time for Gaia.
played around a lot with where I wanted her to be in the world. I wasn't sure if I was going to be doing high fantasy or urban fantasy or what because um, it had turned out to be fantasy murder mystery. And I'm currently working on a murder mystery that's in the fantasy genre, in the high fantasy genre, of course. So I, at first, was wondering if I should start out making this like historical punk. That's not really a thing, but I wanted to see if it would be possible to do. And that idea didn't end up working as much. I tried to combine like punk with the current um, clothes that Felia wears, and that didn't work out. And I tried giving her green hair, and that also didn't work out in the beginning. I wasn't sure if I was settled on the pink, so eventually I just was realized it didn't work and erased it because I was too close to the last character I did. When designing the character, I'd often look back at my concept art for her, go back and forth and see if any new ideas came up from it. That's why I did a lot through um, looking at it, seeing what I wanted to include and whatnot. So finally, after trying to combine a punk style with Ophelia's style, I decided I'm just going to give her a modern day punk look. It wasn't a bad idea, but it it turned out much better for her to be in her own setting rather than trying to be in my fantasy world, because if I tried to give her powers as she has then, I would have to make her both a healer that happens to be devoted to one of the healing gods, and then also I devote to Fiona, the goddess of nature, and that would that would be really complicated to explain how that worked in my world. I'm sure there'd be a way to do it, but the way too complicated to explain that. Since the viewers wanted her to look tough, I tried to give her a tough looking expression since her other expressions had been softer before, and though she is a healer, whether um, magically or um, with her, or just personality wise, she is not a person you want to cross paths with that much. <laughs> Thank you. 
And I looked at punk makeup when drawing this. I was trying to find a single style punk makeup to look at because there was a lot. But I ended up choosing one which was just black eyeliner. And I began by designing her shirt and decided that the figure looked off so I wanted to make it look, be from the top to the bottom more or less than, you know, the full body. So that's what ended up happening because it looked wrong after a while of drawing that. I decided her electric guitar was how she got her powers from her healing magic. For her shape-shifting, she was born with it, but her songs are basically healing, which means they're very loud, but also healing. <laughs>
And ta-da! Here is the finished character. <sighs> this was fun to make. <laughs>